Hi, I'm Sugunet. I am the Tampanese Rovers under 15 uh, head coach. Okay, well, uh, this question uh, again brings something back to me when I was young. When I was uh, a younger player, during my time, the coaches uh, uh, actually they are very strong headed and uh, they always expect uh, a lot of, they demand a lot in training and also in game. But uh, at, this, at this generation, this uh, era, I think the kids are a little bit like, you know, uh, they got a lot of distractions. They kind of like, they have their schoolworks and then they have the phones. And they have all this technology which is taking a lot of time from them for, for, for their focus and their, their time on their trainings and their games. So I personally feel that if you compare, I think this generation of boys, you know, I think, uh, well, there's a lot of uh, things which we need to put up with them as coaches. We really need to look up for them more than what we, our coaches did then. then. <sighs> That's a tough question for me. Okay, so actually the whole team I'm trying my best uh, to teach them uh, on and off the pitch. On the pitch I, I'm always uh, encouraging them and I'm always teaching them the right basic technical skills which I think is lacking a lot in uh, Singapore young footballers. Once they are very good with their technical ability, I think they go on to, to learn more of the tactic side of the game. And I believe that uh, from this team, we can see about six, seven, eight uh, getting up to the senior team in, in about probably about six, seven years in time. Yeah. Okay, when I was upcoming in, uh, when I was playing for Jurong FC, that was I was only 19 years old. I was. Uh, uh, I had a very good uh, uh, coach, uh, Sundram, he was the player uh, coach, he was also at that point of time learning his trade, he's coming up as a coach and uh, he was very strict with us and uh, we young players, we, we learn a lot and of course the players, not forgetting the players were very, very uh, mentally tough and they will not give us a chance to, you know, even joke and uh, they always take good care of us and uh, I feel that uh, the players like Tamil Marvin and uh, we have uh, Bashir Khan at that point of time and then I have Zuban and Zaino. These are players uh, who actually do a lot of encouragement for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I believe that uh, the first thing they have to install is a lot of discipline. Uh, they really have to uh, motivate themselves also. They have to know that uh, it's not only the coach's job, uh, it's not only the parents' job, they have to also be ready to face, uh, you know, a professional life. But this is what we are all looking and uh, teaching them at the same time. And I believe that uh, as we go on, the boys will learn a lot to be a professional. Because they are keeping seeing all the athletic players and then seeing their behaviors, which is a very good role for the Tampanese athletic players, showing a very good, very good, setting a very good example. And the boys always keep talking about them after training and all that. So it's a good thing. My best and my most happiest moment is uh, when I pick all of them to play. Everybody stand a chance to play because at the end of the day, I'm in the development program. I want all of them, the 22 of them, to have a game minutes. And uh, the most important thing, it's not only about winning or losing, is for them to gain confidence on the pitch and to learn as much as they can on the pitch and on the training ground. And uh, I'm, quite, I'm very happy with all of them actually. I, I can't single out one. I'm very happy with all of them, but uh, I think Joshua as a captain is setting a very, very good example to everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>